Manchester United have been linked to a whole host of players and strikers already this summer, but now there is some major movement from Jose Mourinho in bringing in a new number nine to Manchester United this summer. Gianluca Di Marzio, our most trusted source as far as Manchester United transfer news goes because of what he reported throughout the whole Paul Pogba transfer. He is saying that Manchester United have had a 60 million euro bid for Real Madrid's Alvaro Morata turned down by the club. Fabrizio Romano also reported the news. He's part of Di Marzio's staff and it was immediately picked up by Sky Sports in England. Now they are saying that Real Madrid rejected the 60 million euro bid and that they want 90 million euros for the 24 year old. Yes, 90 million euros for a player who only made 14 starts in the league for them last year. That is a phenomenal amount of money. But what should we make of this bid? Well, first and foremost, it looks like Jose Mourinho has identified the number nine that he wants to bring to Manchester United this summer. Now, we've been linked to Romelu Lukaku, who looks like he's going to be joining Chelsea anytime soon. We've been linked with Griezmann, who now is obviously going to be staying at Atletico Madrid and tentatively linked to the likes of Kane, Sanchez, Aubameyang, Aguero, Lewandowski, strikers galore. But it looks like Morata is the player that he wants to bring in. And Real Madrid digging their heels in straight away over Morata should come as absolutely no surprise to any Man United fan for a couple of reasons. First, David De Gea. So we reportedly rejected a £60 million bid for De Gea early this summer, which in the grand scheme of this, if we have a bid in €60 million Euros for Morata, how much is De Gea worth? A hell of a lot more than £60 million. But the, it sounds like the De Gea had nothing to do with this. And if Manchester United do want to sign a player from Real Madrid, and don't want to let De Gea go in the opposite direction, negotiations this summer are going to be very, very hard. It's like dealing with Daniel Levy at Tottenham Hotspur. That is how difficult Real Madrid are going to be to deal with. We've also been linked with Gareth Bale, Rafael Varane, James Rodriguez. So many Real Madrid players we've been linked to this summer. And as I said, if we are going to sign any of them, it's going to be very difficult and overpriced. Add into the fact that Man United have just been named the most valuable football club in the entire world and it's more than understandable that Man United are going to get held to ransom for a transfer fee. We always do. Let's be honest, typically we're pretty poor at transfers in terms of getting the right value for players when we sell them and paying the right prices when we buy them. We always seem to overpay and if we do want Morata or Rodriguez, Varane or Bale, we're going to have to pay over the odds and we've just got to accept that I suppose as fans. Now, how good a striker is Morata? He's only 24, turns 25 in October, but throughout his career, he's been a goal scorer. 10 goals in 10 appearances for Spain's under-19s, 12 goals in 12 appearances for Spain's under-21s, 4 and 8 for the senior team, so 26 goals in 30 appearances at all levels for Spain. And he's also got pedigree in the Champions League, 11 goals in 35 Champions League appearances, but he was part he was a key part of that Juventus team that got to the final in 2015 and lost to Barcelona. He also was not a key part of this Champions League run by Real Madrid when they won it this year against Juventus, but he was part of that team. He played in both finals. The guy has got big game pedigree and he scored goals against elite, elite defences. Far more elite than the likes of Lukaku has scored against. So if you're looking for a top-level striker, Morata ticks all the boxes in that regard. And as for the 2016-17 season, he was a bit part player under Zinedine Zidane, but he scored goals. He got 20 goals in 40 appearances overall. He only started 14 Liga games. He only started 18 games as a striker. But in those 18 games, he got 14 goals and two assists. I mean, he was the second highest goal scorer for Real Madrid last season in La Liga with 15 goals, but he only played 1,334 minutes. Overall, that's 89 minutes per goal in the league. It's a fantastic return for a striker who didn't play that much, and it's a real testament to the quality that Morata has. Morata did so well at Juventus that Real Madrid decided to bring him back. And it's no surprise to see that Jose Mourinho does want Morata, because if you look at him, he could definitely, definitely suit Jose Mourinho in his style of play. He's got power, you know, he's a tall, strong, strong striker that can happily play with his back to goal like Zlatan Ibrahimovic did so much last season. But he's not just about that, he's got pace to burn, so he's definitely got more dynamism in his game than Ibrahimovic does in that he can run the channels if needed to, but at the same time he can play as a target man depending on how Manchester United are playing. 
He's also got skill, excellent dribbler, good with the ball at his feet. And most importantly, he is a clinical finisher, which is what Manchester United were missing so much last season. So he really is an all-round striker. He can run the channels, he can play on the counter-attack, but at the same time, he can play as a bit of a target man if Manchester United need him to. So in terms of a striker that suits Mourinho's needs, you can see why he's interested in Morata and making a bid for him. But what would Morata want to do? He's been linked with a move to join AC Milan and go back to Serie A, but he's made it abundantly clear that that is not what he wants to do. When speaking about the rumours, he said, Milan, no, I certainly won't be in Italy. I want to continue here and it's difficult. I can only tell you what I read in the papers. I know nothing else. I like Italy, but I'm happy here. Madrid is my team and my city. So Morata made it abundantly clear that he didn't want to go back to Italy and he made it clear as well that he ideally wanted to stay in Madrid and fight for his place in that team. And why wouldn't he? He's won two Champions Leagues with Real Madrid. You know, Real Madrid have won the Champions League three in the last four years. Zidane's just won the league. They've just won their first double since the 1950s. Real Madrid is a club on the up. But if he is a bit part player under Zidane and they do want to bring in Kylian Mbappe for ridiculous amounts of money, they need to sell players. And Morata could be one of them, especially if Manchester United are chasing him. And I would, I would like to think that Morata would want to play under Jose Mourinho because United are back in the Champions League next year. We've got cracking signings from last summer. We're going to make more good signings this year. And the Premier League is going to be more competitive than ever. With Manchester City already signing Bernardo Silva and Edison, with Liverpool looking like they're going to sign Van Dijk and Salah. The teams in the Premier League are spending big. So next year is going to be one hell of a competition. And why wouldn't Morata want to be involved in that? And something that is important to take note in this as well is Marcus Rashford has already spoken about the competition that Morata would bring. And he's made it clear that he would be happy if he was to be brought to the club. Speaking about the interest in Morata, Rashford said, at a big club, you are going to attract big players. And that's what we want. Anyone who can come in and help the club with trophies, which is the ultimate aim, they are the players we want to bring in. Good competition is important if you want to be successful. Now that is the elite mentality that we, every single Manchester United player needs. Rashford is a player who is most at threat if Morata comes in, in terms of direct competition for his place as the striker for Manchester United. But he's happy for him to come in. And we need players like Morata because Man United, we should have challenged for the league last year and we didn't. And next season we absolutely have to challenge for the league and we're back in the Champions League. For us to do both of those better than we did last season, we need more players, top quality players, in key positions, striker being one of them. And if Marcus Rashford is happy that Morata is getting linked with a move to Old Trafford, then I think every other player and fan probably should be too. But maybe not. Would you be happy if Morata came in as the main new striker that Jose Mourinho is going to sign this summer? We are going to sign a striker. Would you be happy if it's Real Madrid's Morata? Do you think he's worth 90 million? How much do you think he is worth? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video. It does make a big, big difference to United People's TV. Thank you all for watching. I hope this told you everything you needed to know about the Morata deal. And if there's anything else you want us to talk about, let us know in the comments below. Take it easy.